Guys, uh, this is the uh, information uh, from uh, yesterday's uh, uh, kind of uh, due to schedule conflict. Uh, Coronavirus said uh, a uh, five uh, hundred thirty base uh, three day uh, forty uh, four hundred eighty six uh, coronavirus cases. Uh, Toronto uh, in the lead with uh, one hundred twenty eight eighty three from a uh, pure region uh, forty seven from a uh, Windsor Essex uh, region. Uh, 45 and I'm 45 from uh, Ham Hamilton and also uh, York region uh, <laughs> all other regions uh, reported under 45 uh, 18 uh, deaths are reported mm -hmm. uh, kind of alarming though because uh, this week uh, like a lot of cases are probably were pretty high uh, Variant, uh, okay. Variant, uh, uh, 145,839. <laughs> Finally updated, actually. After technical difficulties, uh, after, after several days, uh, UK variants, uh, 1,500. One That's a plus four. Brazilian variant, uh, And uh, of the serious uh, India variant, uh, seven thousand six hundred sixty-five. Uh, yeah, it's getting close. Oh, our basically our second uh, variant uh, that we should we should be concerned about right now. So yeah, there's, there's that. So. Uh, So, uh, so starting this week, uh, Ontario uh, started uh, this week. Uh, they're offering uh, take a home uh, very like uh, coronavirus uh, test kits. Uh, okay, which is kind of interesting. So this is sort of like a pilot project uh, for uh, some high school students. Uh, so uh, the government uh, announced uh, that some high school students will be given uh, this uh, in, to resume in uh, September. So uh, due to due to uh, so this will be aimed at uh, staff and students who are vaccinated, uh, asymptomatic. Uh, Thematic uh, and a high risk uh, contact, and so high risk, high risk uh, areas, and also uh, sort of, yeah, been there and fully vaccinated. So yeah, it will start uh, during the week of September seventh uh, for eight weeks, uh, ending October 29th and then focus on eight thirteen for the thirteenth, thirteen of the four thirty four uh, health units uh, of uh, all the regions. Uh, so yeah. So what what's in there will uh, include uh, lab materials and lab requisition, uh, and schools will be responsible for receiving, storing, and distributing the take-home self-collection uh, kits, uh, according to officials, and uh, 
So the number of kids that fall into a school will be based on an estimated 15% of the school, secondary school enrollment. So tests can, can also be self, self uh, administered by uh, or administered by or another person can uh, do it for you on you so uh, so instructional videos on how to take the test will are available so if you uh, don't know information is available there So the government has not made it mandatory to, for uh, those uh, eligible students uh, age 12 and older to be vaccinated against the coronavirus. Uh, so it's only 11, uh, those are 11 turning 12 uh, by the end of uh, this year and 12 and up eligible being uh, for vaccinations. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's it. So here's the region. Here are the third, yeah, uh, the uh, certain uh, regions. Uh, so they, uh, so uh, Chatham, Kent, Durham region, Eastern Ontario, Grey Bruce County, Haldimand, Norfolk region, uh, London, Middlesex. Uh, Region, uh, Niagara region, Northwestern Ontario, Pierre region, Porcupine uh, County, County, Thunder Bay, Windsor, Essex the re region, and uh, North York region. So, yeah. And uh, some of these uh, regions uh, have a uh, the health units uh, in these regions I uh, have uh, mentioned uh, and most of these regions have actually been in a uh, red zone uh, and uh, yeah high risk and also been labeled as high risk uh, yeah and also uh, on the in daily cases uh, they haven't also been ended up on that list uh, sometimes like York region and Durham region and Peel region and then sometimes uh, London, Middlesex, uh, or Niagara, and then uh, Porcupine, uh, sometimes, those are sometimes that uh, they were on that list too. So the, the Ministry of Ed Education said that these, uh, these uh, areas, were uh, selected based on vaccination rates, uh, enrollment size, proximity to testing centers, uh, positivity rates, and geography uh, come compared to other uh, places. So, yeah. So, already in places like Toronto and Ottawa and around other regions that that, that we usually see higher uh, rates of uh, current coronavirus that uh, were not selected uh, due, due to the fact that uh, the services are, are already being uh, made in these regions uh, mandatory and uh, uh, to avoid uh, duplication. Uh, so pretty much, yeah. So this sounds good, sounds good. As of this week, and uh, hospitalizations, uh, 250, 295 people hospitalized uh, with coronavirus. Uh, plus uh, 91 compared to yesterday. Uh, 156 ICU patients uh, plus 5 
ICU patients are using a ventilator 125 plus war So uh, nothing has changed for long-term long-term care home that that uh, the outbreaks have uh, been jumped up to five. Yeah. Well, the coronavirus safety rules and uh, regulations, uh, uh, phase three rules. Uh, So uh, technically, we there was no uh, approved. A, uh, I think I've approved that we are in uh, phase four yet. But uh, yeah, seventy-five percent uh, point one uh, has uh, yeah that has been uh, met. But yeah, uh, it's only because of the coronavirus cases and uh, India variant uh, and uh, Lambda variant that uh, hold, holding us back from actually moving on. Yeah. Yep, that's the issue. Stay safe.